Hey guys, it's JD from Eastwood, and in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Eastwood Bead Roller Stretching Die Sets. So, these sets fix a huge problem with bead rolling, and here's the issue. When you roll a bead into metal, that material has to come from somewhere, right? Check out this piece of scrap metal. I demonstrated this within our bead rolling in minutes video guide. You can see it really obviously with this many beads in one panel, the sides of it just want to pull up and you end up with this totally ugly worth panel. This is referred to as oil canning and it's exaggerated here, but this happens every time you roll the bead. The solution was and still is to stretch the panel in an English wheel before bead rolling, but the wheels can be tough to work and not everybody has one. That's where the Eastwood bead roller stretching die sets come into play. These dies basically substitute an English wheel in your bead roller. You could roll your panel through, pre-stretch just like an English wheel, and roll your beads all on just your bead roller, which is pretty nice. So these are available for the hand crank 22 millimeter diameter shaft bead rollers, as well as the motorized 3 quarter inch diameter shaft bead rollers. Both sets will include a high polished radius die and a high polished flat anvil die. These will stretch sheet metal anywhere from 22 gauge to 18 gauge, either steel or aluminum. And when you stretch with one of these, then roll your beads, you'll be left with a nice and flat piece of sheet metal ready to be easily welded into your project car. So here's how these work. They attach to the bead roller like any other die out there. However, you do want to be a little bit careful here. You want the flat stretching die on top to correspond with where you're going to put the male die. And then you want the radius die on the bottom to correspond with where you're going to put your female bead die. From there, apply medium pressure to the panel and then just start making a few passes, nothing crazy, maybe five or six is what you want, just like you'd want in an English wheel. You'll see the panel start to develop some crown and you don't need much. The amount of stretching passes will correspond to the depth of the bead. A deeper bead will need a little bit more stretch, but regardless, you only want about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch max. Swap back to your bead dies and roll your bead through. And as you can see, our panel is nice and flat in comparison to the panel that wasn't stretched. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MiG-180 Weller at 500,000 subscribers. Also head over to our channel, check it out. We have tons of great how-to content over there. You're definitely going to want to see. We'll have the stretching dies linked below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm JD. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.